so in the month of October, I had a funeral for a family member who I was close with and it brought up uh, emotions from another funeral for a family member I was close with in April. They were both untimely, so it makes it even more devastating, but uh, something that was evident at their funerals was how colourful their lives were because of the people they loved. And uh, how much importance they placed on the people in their lives. It's a reminder that that is the most important thing. So what's the most important thing in the world? The people. It gives you a free lip filler. <laughs> So, I also have an update on cameras. I'm using my friend Zoe's GoPro, and it's because uh, if your algorithm's anything like mine, there's a lot of girls who use um, or have shots in fisheye or wide lens, which I love. I think it's really cool. Uh, but the camera that they use is the Canon Mini, Legere or something. It's definitely Canon Mini. And it's discontinued and because of its popularity it's almost a thousand Australian dollars which is completely out of my budget right now. Uh, so I'm really happy that Zoe has let me use this and then it's a more affordable camera in the future. And also the GoPro is waterproof, comes with a waterproof case which is perfect for summertime when I'll be spending more time at the beach. And I think this will be better for the kind of things that I want to film anyway. So um, yeah, that's my update on the camera. Tonight there's a gorgeous thunderstorm and I'm just going to do some digital detoxing or maybe that's not the word where I just go through like my videos and emails and stuff like that and just get um, delete what needs to be deleted and then maybe if I get enough dopamine from that I'll clean my room. Might not look like it but I'm just hiding it from the camera. Mm, there's a lot of clothes on my floor. I think I'm going to give them away. Um, I'll let my friends come over if they want them. Uh, the plan is to sort what I'm ready to part ways with and yeah, lots of little things. October is drawing to a close and um, the busy season starts like from November. I've got some really fun things planned in November and December too. So lots to look forward to but also lots to do up until then. That's where my headspace is at. Tomorrow I'm going to tomorrow I'm going with Hermione to a record store because it's closing down, which is really sad. It's going online and they're doing a sale for their last week. Uh, and yeah, I'm gonna go check it out. Maybe maybe I'll get something, maybe I won't. I don't really have any expectations, but I do want to go before it shuts down. I think it's been in Brisbane for a really long time, so it's sad to go. Russian opera. Okay, I think this is a win too. It's very maritime. It's San Francisco. wasn't what I was expecting. <laughs> So with the Hilma F. Clint, I thought I'd add it because I, it's something I've recently been, I've started reading 
and it's I've only just gotten to her early days and introduction to her spirituality and who she admired and who she was around at the time. Just wanted to add that in there. The other one is Apartamento, my first Apartamento magazine that I bought and I didn't start it in October but I finished it in October. It was because this is the one magazine subscription that I have and I got a notification that the next one is coming and so I don't want to be behind on magazines because I don't want them to just sit there and pile up kind of thing. I read a solid, uh, I'd say half this book uh, this month. Uh, which is gorgeous. I'm glad I did these. They're some of my favorite uh, interviews and the photography is really inspiring. I, I love the color scheme and like the just the vibes are excellent with Apartamento. Then I guess the book I've been waiting to talk about uh, that I finished this month was Intermezzo by Sally Bruni and I'm probably going to talk about books at the end of the video so uh, I'm sure you've seen the beginning so uh, Intermezzo it starts off with the death of the characters, two main characters' father, so grief is a big theme throughout it. I thought it was beautifully written. This book is the most Sally Rooney book that Sally Rooney has ever written. When she writes about humanness and love and big emotions, she doesn't frill it up. There's no honey in her words. It's just how it is and I, th I think that's why I think that's what people love about her writing I want everyone to read it I think it's one of her best books it's more like a uh, beautiful world where are you than her other two I'm starting to think if you asked me a year ago what my favorite book was it, it I would have said normal people but I think as I I don't know if it's an age thing or maybe just my connection to the TV show because that is hands down one of my favorite TV shows, second being Fleabag. I would say now that Beautiful World Where Are You is my favorite, which I think is okay to change. So yeah, I really loved Intermezzo. And then the other book I read was uh, an audiobook, uh, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, which I've read or listened, I've read twice, listened to another four times, I think. I think that was my fourth time listening to it. Uh, it's just a comfort book. I only own Half-Blood Prince, Order of the Phoenix, and The Deathly Hallows uh, as an audiobook, so they're the three that I rotate. When sometimes music is too stimulating when I drive, I just, I, I'm too exhausted and I don't want to pick music. I usually um, will get into the car and like cue the songs I want to listen to, uh, so I should probably make more playlists, but regardless, uh, if I'm yeah, ex too exhausted to choose or make decisions, I just put on an audiobook and uh, I love that, or when I'm going to sleep. So yeah, that was the other book I read. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> 